Little Brown Jug. Oh, how I love thee. And that old refrain has special meanings for football players from Minnesota and Michigan. Coming up, the 71st time that the Wolverines and the Golden Gophers have battled for this famed old football trophy. From Memorial Stadium in Minneapolis, Minnesota, ESPN presents the battle for the Little Brown Jug, the Wolverines of Michigan versus the Golden Gophers of Minnesota. Around the Big Ten, it's always been known as the Old Brick House, and it's the scene of Minnesota's home games, and today, a very big one with the Wolverines of Michigan. Yes, Bo Schimbeckler, if this is a typical Michigan team. Yes, I think so. Um, you know, we've... Um uh, we've played well at times, we've had some trouble at times, but we've had a lot of injuries defensively, and um, that's uh, bothered us a little bit. But it's a typical Michigan team, it's been uh, fun to coach. Uh, we played a lot tougher teams, maybe that's it, I, or maybe we aren't quite as good as we have been in the past, but um, you know, I, that remains to be seen. But no, I, I think it's a typical Michigan team, and, uh, and uh, we're enjoying the season, we'll enjoy a lot more if we win these last four. You have lost five or six starters on defense, but back when you ranked number one in the nation starting in, did you feel that was a fair rating at that time? Well, our concern was defensively, Jim, and we, um, we weren't sure that we were strong enough defensively. And then even before the season started, the injuries started to hit us. And, um, and now, um, you know, we're, we're without uh, probably five starters in this game, maybe six. We have one we may not be able to start. And if that's the case, uh, we're playing a lot of young people. But uh, I don't feel bad about that. They're enthusiastic, and we may make some mistakes and, and things like that. But um, um, we'll, we'll get after them. I think it'll be a good ball game. Well, it's a little bit different looking at Big Ten, though. It used to be you and Ben, Ohio State, and now seven teams against the closest race the league's ever had. What do you think about all this balance? Well, you know, I'd rather have it the other way, but, uh, you know, that's the... Uh, I think it's great for the conference, and it's great for college football. There's a lot of enthusiasm around all of these Big Ten cities now, uh, whereas before they were just uh, striving for the upset of Michigan and Ohio State. Smith gives it to his fullback, Edwards, straight up the middle, over the 40, maybe the 42-yard line. It's going to be about a three- or four-yard game for Stan Edwards. But here's a key play now for Michigan, their first series. Third and seven for Steve Smith. Harder's on the right side of the bottom of your screen. Here's Smith back play action. Smith looking the other way. Smith running, they get the first down. He does over the 50 to the 49. A broken play for Steve Smith with a deep receiver's cover. Jim Bonhorst putting on the pressure, but Smith broke through and picks up a key first down, the first series for Michigan. Minnesota defense. It is second down and 16 for Smith. Smith going deep down the middle for Carter. He's got it on the 35. Carter toasts the outside, taken out of bounds at 31. It'll be first down for the Michigan Wolverines. Andre Harris, the left cornerback, but he has a tremendous job trying to keep up with the elusive and quick Anthony Carter. That's the whole thing. They tried to uh, just put Andre Harris on him one-on-one. -on -one. He gives him an awful lot of room. I tell you, you really can't do anything. You know, you have to put two men on him. You've got to watch him long and short. That time, Andre Harris is one-on-one, -on -one, so he's got to give a lot of room. He's going to hit the 31. They give it to the fullback Edwards. To the left side of the open. Over the 20 yard line, he dies for 17. First to 10 again for the Wolverines. Then Cardelli made the stop. Will be in to try to put Michigan on the lead. It'll be a 31 yard tip in the 21 yard line. The wind is slightly at his back. Here's the kick in the air, and it is good. Haji Sheik hits his second field goal of the year in five tries. His first here this afternoon. And now. The score becomes Michigan 3, Minnesota nothing as the Wolverines draw first blood in the battle for the Little Brown Jug. We'll be coming back. Back to Jameer Smith, Edwards, and Wolf at the Michigan. Now here's a play action fake. Smith going down the middle, and there's Carter. Takes it up to 45 in Minnesota territory. A beautiful down and out. Sideline pattern. Rick Willis was there, but he was hand-tied uh, hand by the great pattern run by Carter. <laughs> First down play for Michigan. Play action again by Smith. Two Got left side. Carter's there. Takes it. At the 30. Breaks the tackle. Down the sidelines. Out of bounds. And around the 17-yard line by Glenn Cardelli. 
Second half play. Here comes Smith. Look, he wants a touchdown. Goes to Tyler Edwards for the score. Stan Edwards out of the backfield. Wide open. Good cut out. He's drawn in. Edwards got behind him. And Smith, who's on the money today, and that may spell a long afternoon for Minnesota as Michigan scores. The first touchdown is now 9 0. What really happened here, Jim, is that they took Anthony Carter out of the ballgame, brought another tight end in. So Minnesota's thinking run. That time uh, Smith rolls out and you see the linebacker just blew the coverage and Edwards just walks in with the ball. So it is 10 0 now. Michigan. Two and a half teams. Here's the third down. Goal to go. Here comes Carroll in motion. Hornsey play action. Hornsey looks. Hornsey. Hornsey stopped going to run. Hornsey scores. Let's see what Hoynes he does on first down. Play action. Hoynes pumps. Hoynes he fires down the left side. It is broken up and intercepted by Michigan. Keith Bostic, a strong safety, intercepts. First intercepts the game intended for Weckbacker. And that time, Hoynes he lost his magic and Bostic from double coverage is there. Looks like he threw into a crowd there. Don't sell Rick Short. There is a fake. And now here's Smith. Good time. Over the got middle. Him. And he has got his man. It is caught. Woodhouse making the stop. That well, will be close to first down, but may just miss again. It's again for Smith. Take the fullback. Here comes the option. Smith has room. Smith turns the corner. Breaks the tackle. To Watch the out! 35 from behind on the 30-yard line. Rick Woodhouse. Stop the touchdown play by Smith, who almost broke in the distance. And, uh, Michigan getting down at least close to field goal range. Here's a quick one out in the flat to Anthony Carter. Carter at the 30, turns on his speed. The outside gets out of bounds on the 30, 25 yard line. Now they're setting up double coverage. Here's the pitch out to Wolfen. Wolfen trying to cut back that room. Inside the 10 and dives down to the five. Butch Wolfen, his best run with a super uh, tackle there by Glenn Sussman. <laughs> Oh, Smith looking, end zone, touchdown. Caught in there by Edwards. The fullback. Oh, Pat, let's see who it is. It's uh, Edwards, Stan Edwards, the fullback. Gets the touchdown. His second one today. Yeah, his second and uh, 13. Here's Smith. The Wolf. Watch out. Got room. Here it comes. Turns the corner to 40. That's his best one of the day. Out of bounds in the 45. And it'll be first down for Michigan. They like to switch strong and weak side. Then there's a play action fake by Smith. He is coming down for the Bean, and it is caught by Bean at the 21 yard line. Bench Bean over the shoulder, a spectacular catch. Took it away of Glenn Carson. One for one today, and this try will be from about 33 yards, right in the middle. Hodge Sheik, the kick up, it's long enough, and it is good. Hodge Sheik has hit one from 32 yards. Put it in for Michigan in the back. Wolfen. Middle of the throw. Oh, Wolfen. there he goes. Up to the 40. Wolfen, 45, 50. Turns outside. He gets down to Minnesota, 43. That's the best run of the day by Butch Wolfen. The All-American halfback for Michigan. Stopped by Glenn Cardelli. And it was in front of Wolfen. Give it to Wolfen. Wolfen is running into trouble. Turn, turn the corner. And he does get it down to 25. That's a pretty good running job by Wolfen. He was Michigan leads 20 to 7. Smith, head down, going to the air to Anthony Carter, end zone, and it is, touchdown. Oh. What a super catch by Anthony Carter. Cardelli and Woodhouse were both back there, but the ball was just perfectly thrown by Steve Smith. Down to the end zone. The official little, says yes. It's a little semi, semi roll. You're going to see, it's going to drop it right over the head. I believe he's got it there. Yeah. Now all you have to head in. Anthony Carter is in there. He's to the left side. I think this is like he's keeping on the ground here. Here comes Smith in the option. Smith rolling. Tries to stay in bounds. And he does by a lot. Fred Brockington now is getting split in. And again up the middle of Ricks. And Ricks gets a little bit of a breathing room. And he fires right back in 1977. Here's Smith looking. Let's on, but fires over the middle. Oh, oh it's got it inside the 15. Anthony Carter on a pass that was perfectly thrown by Steve Smith. Here comes Smith. Smith keeping, cuts the five. Smith still driving to the two. 
Here's Smith, hands it off to Ricks, touchdown. Lawrence Ricks, cracks for the touchdown. That was number 75, Bubba Paris, 275 pounder. Help open the way for Ricks. Well, the upset of the 70s, and there's the old Oak and uh, the old Little Brown Jug.